the Takumi or Innovators Company has a total workforce of 19 people. Though it is small, it boasts a technology that has been adopted by every automaker in Japan. These automobile gear and shaft parts are given surface treatment using the Takumi's technique. What's different from other techniques? By treating the surface of the parts, we can make the surface extremely strong. Normally, they would break in about five years, but with this treatment, they can last for about 50 years. 50 years? They last roughly 10 times longer then. That's right. Wow! Let's find out about the surface treatment technique that has dramatically improved the performance of Japanese cars. The grains in this powder are extremely tiny metal balls, measuring only 50 micrometers. Using the special machine, a small number of these metal balls are beat against the surface. The speed of the tiny balls is 200 meters per second. The tiny balls hammer the metal, increasing the surface strength. It is commonly known that metal becomes stronger by hammering. The Takumi's technique follows the same theory. By increasing strength and durability, it doesn't just boost a car's performance, but also enhances user safety. So I feel that this is very important work we're doing. The Takumi developed this technique 30 years ago. At the time, the standard method was to use metal balls one millimeter in diameter. But metal balls of one millimeter are too big for precision machinery. They had the drawback of breaking the parts. So the Takumi came up with the idea of using smaller balls. At first, the metal parts melted due to the heat coming from the balls hitting the surface. It didn't work well. So Miyasaka adjusted the distance of the nozzle shooting out the balls, moved the parts and searched for a way to stop the parts melting. Then finally, he produced a part that was far stronger than any to date. But at first, people would not believe him when he said that he could extend the life of metal. The major turning point came after 15 years in the 1990s. As car makers were seeking to reduce weight, small metal parts were in demand. Major automobile manufacturers then noticed the Takumi's technology that could strengthen small parts. The solidity of the Takumi's technique was proved through testing, and all of the Japanese automakers started using it. Even elite Formula One racing teams came to adopt the Takumi's technique. Presently, Miyasaka also works on creating ecological products. One of them is this photocatalytic purifying filter. By using the same technique as blowing metal balls on auto parts, titanium was blown onto a ceramic ball. When titanium comes in contact with the air, it becomes oxidized titanium, which can purify water. Miyasaka used this idea to make a filter. Miyasaka created the first ever oxidized titanium balls with a purifying action. <laughs> there are so many! In a small tank were 100 Japanese carp or koi. He says that even with so many fish, the filter can keep the water clean. In fact, the carp are healthier now. It's when I gaze at the fish that a new idea pops into my mind. So for me, it's quite useful in that way. What is manufacturing for a Takumi who creates all kinds of innovative technologies? I don't want to monopolize technology. I want others to use it and have clients make a profit too. Things that go around come around. And my company can benefit from that also. 
I believe that is how we have got to where we are today, with everyone contributing. I heard that your company makes a lot of things with magnesium alloys, and you really do have a variety. Yes, we make the top covers for laptops, smartphone parts, and many other things. Magnesium alloys are sturdy and light.